Hey Skin Games, it's Mike checking in for week five for the age management category. I saw Jan on Monday and his skin is looking great. Fine lines and wrinkles in his forehead look smoother and around his eyes and you can really see a difference in texture. We did a similar treatment to the treatment that we did in week one. I did dermaplaning, which prepped the skin, um, removed any vellus hair and dead skin cells. And then I went in with microneedling, which created that controlled wound in the skin. I use the Aniage Brightening Stem Cell as Slip. This has the human bone marrow stem cells to really encourage collagen production as well as tranexamic acid to help inhibit melanocyte activity to brighten up any pigmentation from the sun. We went in with the Biore Peel, which is that 30% trichloroacetic acid peel. It has the biophilic technology, so it doesn't eat at the epidermis. It passes through, making it a little bit more non-invasive, and you can combine it with other modalities, so I felt confident combining it with the microneedling and the dermaplaning, and then we went in with injectables with Dr. Spalo, so before I run out of time, Time, I'll have him talk a little bit about that. So what we are about to do is inject some Daxify, which is a form of botulinum toxin A. The areas we're going to be concentrating today are the glabella and the forehead. And what that will do is help to weaken the contraction of those muscles so that when he raises his eyebrows, he won't be able to as strong developing those lines. And when he squinches, he won't be getting those 11s. So what we've done so far is delineated the areas of volume concern underneath his eyes. And what you see is this little speck of blood here. That's where we created a little incision for the cannula to go in. So we're using a blunt cannula, so it'll be a little less likely to have any type of a vascular penetration. We're staying underneath the orbicularis oculi muscle here. And I always negatively aspirate as I enter, even though it is a blunt fill cannula. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a retrograde linear threading technique where we slowly deposit the hyaluronic acid base filler into these areas of volume concern. I'm gonna have him discontinue his actives and just focus on hydration for the next seven nights and then have him return to his full routine. And I'm excited to see what his skin looks like the next time I see him.